Bill Russell is a man of eloquent uh, opinions, and you can hear a lot of them when he's covering NBA basketball at a on ABC on Sunday afternoons. And uh, before that, he is sort of believed to have invented modern pro basketball. He sort of changed the game completely. It's never been quite the same. And as a player, he managed to uh, dominate even the uh, indominatable, indomitable, the, the unbelievable Wilt Chamberlain. And he's been on this show before. Those are some of the most interesting things about him. Will you welcome, please, Mr. William or Bill Russell? <laughs> usually stand when a guest comes out, but I saw us both together on the monitor one time, and I, when I stand, when you come out, it doesn't seem to register whether I am or not. Um, but enough of that. I'm no use sick of being a big, tall freak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I rather like it. Oh, yeah, I guess you yes, would. Being a big, tall freak. Yeah. And I'm going to beat you up as soon as the show's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you're waiting that long. That's well, wonderful yeah. control on your part. But we then you have one. I can't do it in front of witnesses. No. But you're known for your control anyway. So I want to ask you uh, something. You're reading those cards. Yeah. Uh, and Nancy's been here four times. Yeah. Right? right. I wonder if he likes the show. <laughs> <laughs> you're really getting showbiz. You think Nancy no. is an adjective? Uh, I mean, is that what. Um, well, um, never mind. Yeah, let's drop that. Hey, you, you do a show. Yes. So, I noticed you came right out here and started questioning me. <laughs> well, I can't help it. It's a nasty habit I'm trying to get into. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I have what? this little show uh, that we do out in California. It's that scene here? No, we don't want it to get polluted, so we're not bringing it to you. <laughs> you mean no, uh, it's going it's to be seen here in February. Oh, well, that's good. I want to ask you some things about that, but before I do, they say that Wilt Chamberlain is now playing your style of sort of Bill Russell style basketball. What is that? What does this mean? I, 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 that's intriguing, but I haven't the slightest idea. Did he imitate you? Does he steal Well, first you have to say as well as he can. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> uh, you, no, uh, what, they're, what they're talking about is uh, the Lakers are playing the same style of ball that we played uh, about 10, 15 years ago. They just caught up. Well, you know, some guys, some people are slow learners. Yeah. So, but actually, two, see there are two Celtics, uh, Bill Sharman and Casey Jones are coaching the Lakers now. Yeah. And so naturally some of the influence would be there. Well, that's what it is then. I just wonder, but I have heard that, haven't I? Yes, Definitely. you've heard it's that. Not a I've, spread, it? I've spread the rumor myself. Yes, okay. Uh, so how, how did you get, um, you had uh, Governor Wallace on your show, I heard? Yes. Is he your man for 72 or how? <laughs> You well, uh, you see, that shows you how much of a choice we have. <laughs> what, 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 what? Well, I mean, you know, uh, you that, look at all this noise I'm making, and you add up to about one and a half candidates. But, uh, by the time you squeeze them all oh, together. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what did you talk to him about? I, I'd like to have seen that. Well, we talked about, uh, talked about him, because yeah. I think that most people know his politics. Yeah. And... Um, and he knew mine, and I knew his, so there wasn't any point in discussing that. So did you talk about his We life, talked about his, his boxing real... career when he was a truck driver, and yeah. asked him, uh, I asked him, I said, oh, tell me what your favorite joke is. Mm -hmm. And he said, some people think I'm a joke. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> he's pretty he, quick. Oh, that? yeah, he, uh, I, haven't, I haven't met him, but I've, I've seen him. He's very good on interviews. And what, um, were you friendly? I mean, was there any yeah, undercurrent of hostility? You know, or? No, no, he says, uh, I says, you know, why would you come on a show with me? Mm -hmm. He says, well, listen, Bill, I've been a fan of Celtics for years. I didn't even know we played in Alabama, but, uh, you know. Oh, he's, he's a very astute politician. Yeah. Regional, but astute. You know, I did something that you couldn't do, though. Well, well there's several things you could do. Well, that we, well, you know, I had um, Lester Maddox on the show, and he didn't walk off. Is he the one who walked off the... Yes, that's right. He did one time. That's, I was watching, too. That's right. He walked off a scant 88 minutes into the show. <laughs> knowing the value of television time. I'd, I'd love to have him come back. He was... Um, have, is he ever... Someone just fainted over there. No, because there, there was, that was fun. It was sort of interesting, and, and I think he had a good time, and there was a certain amount of tension, and... and um, 
Nobody got hurt. Right. And right. What'd you talk to him about? How is he? Did my name come up? No, he, he thinks you're one of those uh, heathens, so he doesn't talk about you anymore. Heathens? Yes. Oh. He he, did he very, say he that? Said, no, he didn't say that, but oh. he taught that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you read can tell now, right? He didn't think you were very nice to him. He says they don't treat him fair. Really? That's right. People but, on them New Yorkers. All New Yorkers? I said, I'm not from New York. <laughs> he says all, he doesn't like any New Yorkers? I don't know, he might. And he accused me of generalizing about a whole state, which I hadn't done. Yeah, you, he was right. You were just talking about the people of Georgia, something terrible. First, I get it. <laughs> no, I, I'm getting it from you. No, you were, you, were, yeah. you were nice to him, as you could be. The, the thing about it was that he kept winking at me. No, maybe, he had, maybe he had in contacts, lenses or something. No, I think he was having a good time, all, really, actually, all through the thing, and he kept winking at me with his up-camera eye. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know what we did? Um, we had a, uh, a part of the thing we do is ask everybody, we have to give them a word association test. I've heard of this. Do you want yes. to play it with me? Yes. I hate things like that. Do I have well, to do it? They, Unless you can they, beat me up, you they, have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's let the audience decide whether I can beat you. We'll, just do it. we'll do it after this message, if you want me to. We will return, one of us, after this message. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to submit to this humiliating experiment now that's going to reveal all the most awful things about me, I expect. No, it's just, you know, what we do, we give you a word and you give a reaction like that, if you can do it. Is that. it like, like, the, like psychiatrists give you? Where yes, they, only you have to sit up for this. You got to say the first thing that comes into your mind. Right. That's okay. very dangerous. All right. We'll start. You ready? Mm-hmm. Clifford Irving. Fraud. Uh-huh. <laughs> got to bleep that. Uh, Possible fraud, of course. I mean, that's the word that's been used. <laughs> too it's late. Fraud question mark. Okay. Uh, Henry Kissinger. Okay. Virgin. Lady. <laughs> Rather chauvinistic, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> pot. I'm sorry? Pot. Kettle. <laughs> From Nebraska, huh? <laughs> oh, I see. No, wait, that's are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? I'm scared. Right. I'm ready. Uh, Agnew. Nixon. So, so you passed. I think. Is that it? Yeah, that's all. Oh, I want to and go then we'll on. See, what we do is after we give you those, then we'll. Now you analyze my answers. No, we don't analyze them. We don't care well, if you're crazy or not. <laughs> what, do I, what do I get no, out of this? No, see, what we do is then, like, we'll take maybe five or six people mm -hmm. and, we'll give them, and then we'll ask them all the same questions and then we show them. Oh, I see. Like we showed. Uh, they don't hear each other, though. No, they don't. You don't the know answers. what. Right. Oh, that's like, a good idea. Uh, we, like we did with. Um, we gave Teddy Kennedy and George Wallace the same. Uh, Question. Same list. Same names. list, and uh, the answers were like uh, we said, Justice Douglas. Yeah. And uh, Teddy Kennedy said, uh, an old friend, uh, and a brilliant Supreme Court justice. That's not one word, though. You know, Is no, that that's a long he, answer. Yeah, if you want to, you know, and he's a senator, he can say, talk as long oh, as he wants good. to. And uh, <laughs> and so there was asked uh, Governor Wallace the uh, same question. He said, and just right after he says, the man ought to be off the Supreme Court. You know. <laughs> And the answers were really yeah. fascinating. They Sometimes, played differently, though. You didn't allow me sentences. Well, we didn't. I didn't know if you could handle that. All that <laughs> <laughs> well, what, about, what, a, what do you make of any of my answers? I, I don't even remember them. You well, laughed th when there I, was one said, that was outstanding when I said pot, and you said kettle. Yeah. Now, that was a real winner, Dick. Doesn't that <laughs> doesn't that make any sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense yeah. if you're from Nebraska on another farm. <laughs> I was thinking of a kettle full of marijuana. Right. That's what. Uh -huh. Too late. Too late. <laughs> no, it's funny. You say Nebraska and marijuana as if those things were the two yeah, farthest it apart things in the world. It grows wild in Iowa and Nebraska. Marijuana. Absolutely does. wild. I mean, it grows by the by the field full. Yeah. It used to. And I think they've they've taken to uh, you know cutting. Well, you People know how they found out. up and stealing it you know, from other from Mexico and things, and then. Um, and from also from other states. But I remember as a kid, I used to see fields of marijuana. Nobody knew what it was for. Except all the animals were walking around smiling. <laughs> Can you imagine a field of... of a, if, if Nebraska caught fire, it would turn on all of Kansas. 
shifted to another. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I don't know if that marijuana is the, the real... Uh, it's just not high I think it has stuff. to... Uh, the stuff that is actually uh, potent has to come from a very... A much hotter climate, I think, than that. What? Wait, wait a second. I guess the, the, the potent stuff has to be imported. Just like, you know... Yeah. Like, Would eating it affect an animal? Try it. I don't know. I wonder. That is an interesting... interesting. I wonder if any experiments have been done on... Well, some people put in cookies, you know. Gertrude Stein and others. Yes, um, yeah. Uh, what do you think of All in the Family? I watch it uh, every day when I'm not uh, out playing. You can never really find anybody who's offended by it, and yet there's all this current of people who are supposedly to ignore the fact that I dropped my pan. Uh, 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 supposedly offended by it. Well, I, I'm not personally offended, but I, I enjoy it. And uh, what's good about the show, I think, more than anything, is that it deals with a, a multitude of issues in, uh, in, in a very open way. You know, because uh, we took, uh, we had uh, Carol O'Connor and Norman Lear, and, we, and uh, we dealt with three of the shows, uh, Impotency, you would know anything about that. Um, no, of course, I missed the show. <laughs> <laughs> And we dealt with death yeah. and uh, the menopause. Well, just lighthearted things. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's the kind of things they deal with in a very funny way. Yeah, yeah. those were three of their subjects. Uh, right. For, for and they, so they deal with just uh, all kinds of different areas. Yeah. And everyone says that, you know, that Archie's just a bigot. Mm -hmm. Well, he's more than just a bigot. He's a dumb one. <laughs> a dumb one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, but, he, but the thing is that really they, uh, the show deals with so many issues that it makes it very interesting and enlightening. All, it's also quite funny, I mean, which sometimes yes. gets lost in the Very funny, shuffle. very yeah. funny. If they did a show about an intelligent bigot, I mean, uh, if, if Archie were a physicist or, uh, you know, or somebody like that and also a bigot, then it would be a whole different cup of tea. Why is a dumb person a, a, a humorous when he's bigoted? Him? He's not, Archie isn't stupid. In fact, no. he's quite cunning, but you know what I mean. It, it yes. isn't as if he were a, uh, I don't know, a, member, a man who worked for the Rand Corporation. Well, everyone can identify him as... Um, you know, I got an uncle just like that. I got a cousin just like that. Yeah. Uh, but not me. You know, and then everyone that says I got an uncle like that, oh, the right, uncle doesn't think that he's like that. No, he's, he's saying I have an uncle. Yeah, like he's that. saying I got a cousin. I got a nephew just like that, you know. That's right. You don't hear anybody say who Archie is me. That's interesting. No. They, they can identify him, though. They know him. He lives around the corner across the street. Were you humiliated by the Amos and Andy show when you were a kid? No. Uh, in fact, I thought the parts of were rather funny. You're supposed to be humiliated by it. <laughs> well, I wasn't, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't shove you into any mold. No, it's just I haven't, um, I just think some things are funny. I don't think, uh, mm -hmm. but I, I like to think that maybe I'm an exception because I, I'm, as you can see, very sure of myself. And, uh, and being sure of myself and knowing who I am, that kind of thing is, uh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I haven't, I've yet to meet anybody who, um, a, a black person who actually said they thought, found that show so offensive and humiliating, and I don't know where all of the supposedly offensive, probably, probably white liberals were the ones who thought it was so horrible. No, I've met, so, I've met some uh, uh, black folks who thought it was uh, offensive, and some of the things were. Yeah. You know, um, you know, you reach a, in humor, it's a fine line between a groove and a rut. And you have to be very careful to get in the groove. Because yeah. you get in a the rut, then you offend people. 